Hey guys, we are back with Clash Royale, and we're going to jump into the special event challenge here. We have a tournament going, not going to worry about that. We're going to jump into the King's Cup. As you know, the King's Cup is actually happening on the uh, November 6th. I'm going to actually think, I think I'm going to upload this um, later today, actually, so we will be able to see this before the King's Cup, so that means it would be tomorrow, basically. So this is basically, this is a special event. We get one free entry, which is what I'm going to show you. It gives you a random deck, and you're going to face another random deck. And the deck has a certain theme. Like, I know most of the decks in here. Not necessarily sure how, how good they're going to be. I know there's an Expo deck. But all I could get cards that I don't have. So I could end up using the Miner or the Log. Which I actually would be pretty happy to use those. Since I've never actually tried them before. It's going to be pretty fun. So we're actually going to jump in here for free. King's Cup. Let's actually battle here right off the bat. And get right into it. What deck are we going to get? Let's see. The Dark Lightning. So we get to use the Lumberjack, which I do not have, as you guys know. Very cool, as you as you can probably expect. And all our cards are immediately upgraded to tournament level. So we're going to go in for some chip damage here with our Spear Goblins. And we're going to start our Mega Minion in the back. Is it time for the Goblin Hut? If he does nothing... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and place the Goblin Hut down. Okay, he's got a bowler and a princess. This is actually some value right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Take out the princess and do a work on the bowler. And the spear goblins are actually going to do some good chip damage to the bowler, meaning that he is actually going to get taken out. There you go. Okay, so I think I'm actually going to start with my... um. Oh boy, Expo. Let's go with Skeleton Army here to take it out. We're going to go here then at the Dark Prince so that way nothing else actually happens. And we're actually going to go with the Lumberjack here. Oh no, he dropped a mini P.E.K.K.A. Wow, that was actually perfectly done on his part. However, the Lumberjack is moving on and he is going to set a Rage down, meaning that these next coming Spear Goblins are going to be pretty darn good ones. Okay, so he plays some Guards. I am, I'm actually going to place regular Spear Goblins here to take out these Guards. And we're going to plant another, that was a little one's tile too far forward, but we've got actually four Spear Goblins coming at the tower now. Okay, we're actually going to let that all waste itself, and we're actually going to uh, wait here on this bowler. We're going to drop our Mega Minion now, so he is the Expo. I'm going to want to save my Lightning for the Expo, obviously. Okay, there comes the Princess. Okay, he's going to drop the mini P.E.K.K.A. I know that he is zapped, so there's no point in me saving my skeleton army for anything else. Here we go. We're actually going to drop our archers here for the first time to take that out. Okay, let's actually go Lumberjack, Dark Prince here. Lumberjack should rage up this Dark Prince. We're going to lightning. All oh, my goodness. That was oh, no, the lightning actually did not hit the princess. Okay, we're going to actually drop the Mega Minion on top of the Princess to take it out. We're going to drop our Skeleton Army there. He's going to Fire Spirit it. However, wow, that was actually an amazing counter. Wow, I'm going to give him the, the, I'm gonna give him the wow there because I did not see that coming. Okay. We're going to drop our Archers a little bit farther back because I know that that Princess is there. I'm going to do some work to them. Okay. There goes that. Dark Prince is down. We're going to drop our Mega Minion. And we have got a win here, guys, with the Dark Lightning, with the Lumberjack. First time I've ever used him. That's pretty darn awesome. So we start out here. One win, 50, 50, one card, 50 more gold. And we're going to go ahead and donate some of this. And you know what? Let's jump right into another one. Let's do this. All right, what's our next deck here? King's Cup. The Frozen Hog. So you guys know... Hog Freeze it used to be my thing. I loved Hog Freeze back in the day, and I have a level 4 Freeze here. So I'm actually pretty excited, and we are facing a level 8, which is certainly going to be interesting here. Um, Ice Wizard is not going to work. We're going to drop our... No oh, he is the Hog Freeze too then. So we probably have the same deck here. Let's back that Ice Wizard of a Valkyrie. He's going to drop a Tesla, Okay. However, that Tesla is not going to work out too well for him because it's too far that way. So my Hog Freeze is going to do work. The Poison, I don't... Th oh boy, there comes that. So yes, he does have my same deck. There goes the Tombstone. We're going to drop our Ice Wizard too. We really don't have the right counters to face the same deck. It is true. 
while that Tesla is going to be up, I'm going to poison there. So it may not be the most value poison, but it's actually doing work to that Ice Wizard, which is actually great. There aren't many uses for the poison spell anymore. We're going to drop our Knight there to take out those Spear Goblins. We need to be ready for the Hog Freeze. Luckily, we have the Tombstone, which is actually a good counter to it. All right, come on now. Neither of us have really done too, too much to each other's towers. I'm going to drop a Valkyrie in the back here. Okay, there comes his knight, meaning that the hog is likely actually going to come soon. Should be any moment that we see the hog. He's actually going to use the poison there. That was very good poison. So I'm actually going to wait here on anything that I play. We're going to do our ice. There's the hog. There's the tombstone to lure that. We're actually going to poison all of that. And that was a terrible freeze on his part. That may be the worst hog freeze I've actually ever seen. I want to try to get him to use the Tesla on that side of the arena. Okay, this is not actually looking too good right now. He's playing his guys over there. We're going to poison those two guys. Okay, his Tesla is actually in a perfect spot. Meaning that I actually want it to get taken out. There we go. Tesla's gone. We're going to go hog. Oh, there's a mini P.E.K.K.A. We, oh my goodness. Wow. So he clearly had nothing for my hog. However, I just got him to use his freeze. We're going to poison all of that right there. Um, we're going to have to drop that. Too many P.E.K.K.A.s. Oh, my goodness. Go, Valkyrie. The Valkyrie is doing work. He's actually going to freeze it all. We're going to play that and that to barely save our game. Here comes the Hog Rider. Nothing I can really do about that. We're going to drop our Tombstone here. We have two Ice Wizards going in on that side. This deck is not working out too, too well for me right now. Let's go hog. I'm not too worried. He may just leave the ice wizard and not worry about his Tesla. He, oh my goodness, there is the Tesla right there. Wow, we're actually going to poison. Waiting for a hog on that side. We're going to drop two tombstones right here. He's going to freeze. As we know, he's going to poison. Smart play, but it doesn't work out too much in his favor. We're going to let him deal with that and our hog on the other side of the arena. We're going to freeze all of that. We're going to go here. And our hog is going to get a shot. Okay, our knight is going to do a good job actually tanking there. There comes the hog rider. There goes two. So he's now no longer using his freeze. Oh my goodness, there's the freeze, and that's game. Nothing that I could do about that freeze. He played, He had a lot of elixir to play that. So what happens here is that he had a better deck. Honestly, he did have a better deck. And that's the thing about this challenge. You're not going to necessarily always be in a good position because you're always going to have random deck. So we have the Expo here, which I am not very happy about. I do not like using the Expo. This deck overall does not look very strong, I will say that. Let's go Princess. Um, I'm actually going to not let those archers do any damage. We're going to drop our Bowler here. He's going to poison it. You know what? I'm actually going to let him poison it. Oh, boy. Um, you know what? Let's actually go Fire Spirits for this instead of the Zap to save our Zap. And down goes that. Okay, with that, we're going to drop. I don't know if this is how you use the Expo, but there it goes. He's just sending the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Oh, my goodness. The Expo locked. Fireball, come on. It missed. Well, now I lost right there because I do not have any elixir for that musketeer to counter. Best I can do is that and hope that he doesn't have a zap, but he's bound to. Oh, no, he doesn't. What is he? He's going to look. Oh, he has go log go. That's the deck he has. That's what it's called. Maybe we'll get it later. Okay. A pump. Okay. 
We did a lot more damage, though. We played our expo pretty well there. Okay, I may go in for some chip with the princess. Okay, come on, princess. I need to get you to get... Got a shot. Come on, get two shots. Two shots. A golem. Golem is not the best play against my deck, because he already knows I have a mini P.E.K.K.A. Why would he play that? It's true. We're actually going to fireball the musketeers. I don't want to deal with it. Oh my goodness, a level 7 fireball does not take out a level 7 musketeer. Since when? So he did a ton of damage right there. Which is really going to hurt. Alright, I want to get. I want to see if I can just get this right here. He's going to drop another pump. Which means that, guess what, I'm going to want to fireball it. We're actually going to zap right there. Now I want to tell you guys, that is the, that is the fireball of the century right there. Hitting both those pumps. We're going to drop our skeleton army here. Oh boy, that musketeer is going to do nothing. Oh, he's going to log it. Okay. Oh, he's going to poison. We're going to go fire spirits on the musketeer who actually shoots at the tower. We're going to drop our princess here to get that one last shot for the win. And the distract here. There goes the expo. Oh my goodness, he anticipated our skeleton army. Oh my goodness, nothing better happened here. The expo is going to actually fire at the musketeer. And that is it. Oh boy, good game right there. The expo. I won with the expo. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's actually pretty sad. I mean, if you guys know me, I do not like the expo. I don't think it should be in the game. <laughs> okay, what are we going to get this time? Here's the Golog Go that I was just talking about. It's that Golem deck that we just faced. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is pump up. When you have a Golem, you need to pump up. I personally do not... What kind of an elixir pump placement is that? Oh, he's going to do that? Okay, we're going to use the Musketeer to take out that Miner. So he's got the Miner deck right there. I know that deck. We're actually going to see if we can get the Golem down right in front of the Musketeer. Oh, come on. Right there. Yeah, boys. There you go. Oh, my goodness. He's got three Musketeers. Which means that is the most value poison ever right there. Because those Musketeers are going to stay in that poison spell for a long time. And the Golem's going to do some damage there. Okay. <sighs> And down they go. I mean, I can literally just put Fire Spirits right here on that knight. And then down he goes. And I am actually going to pump up again to keep with his pumps. However, we're decently low on Elixir right now. I just wanted to keep up with him pump-wise. There goes his Miner. He's gonna, the Miner is going to target the Archers. That was literally perfect. The Miner only gets a shot on our Elixir pump. Okay, I need to wait for him to play his three musketeers in order to poison them. Okay. Actually, that's a more value poison. I need I need to do that because there's not there's nothing else that I could do about that. Which means his three musketeers are free now. We're gonna see if he has anything for this. It's he's gonna have to play his three musketeers if he has them. No, he's gonna zap. Didn't know he could have a zap in that deck. Oh, yes, he just used his miner, which is awesome, because now I can pump up just as we hit double elixir. Luckily, I have the log here, though. I'm waiting for those three musketeers. I'm going to drop the golem right there. I'm waiting for them. There they come. I'm going to wait for them to walk right in there, and there you go. We're actually going to log them away to do some even more damage to them. We're going to use Fire Spirits here to take out the rest of that minion horde. And our golem is free. Musketeer goes down. We're going to drop yet another golem here. And he is not going to be ready for it at all. We're going to log whatever he places down there. Log that away. And... Log those three musketeers. We're going to poison the rest of them. And guys, we just got a win with the golem deck that we just beat a second ago. Oh, those fire spirits were perfect. Oh my goodness, those were perfect fire spirits. And we had full elixir too. Wow.
good game right there. Getting that win against a level 9 as well. Alrighty. This is actually looking pretty good. I gotta say. I'm feeling pretty good. Alright, let's see. What are we gonna get this time? The Raging Balloon. This is probably the worst deck of all of the decks that are in this King's Cup Challenge. And he has the Bowler and the Expo. So, you know, we're actually going to start with our Witch in the back here. Hmm. We're going to go Baby Dragon. Going to drop our Minions. He's going to Fireball it. He missed my Minions, though, which is actually pretty good. Okay, and after I take out that princess, here goes the balloon. Let's see if it works. Those fire spirits are going to get taken out right there. We're going to rage the balloon because it's called the raging balloon for a reason. Come on, get two shots. Get two shots. Please, balloon. Get three shots. Get three shots. Yes, the balloon took out the tower. Wow. Going to drop those arches. Does this actually work? Oh, no, the archers hit both of them. Okay. Um, um, not looking good right here. Witch. It's my only counter because it spawns the skeletons. And there you go. Mini P.E.K.K.A. just got wrecked. Okay, so I'm actually feeling pretty darn good about this right now. Here goes a solo witch. I'm going to let that witch go because we need to start focusing on defense here. Or the other lane even. Because he's got a pretty powerful deck. There it is. There goes the expo. We're going to Ice Spirit it. Oh my goodness. Not looking good right here. It's going to target our tower. However, our minions are going in right now. Whew. That did not feel very good. He's going to zap our baby. Dr he left the match. Um, okay, I need to wait up till I get my Raging Balloon. He left the match. Perhaps he gave up already. Go. Gonna zap that. Dang it. Okay, well, the thing is, I can't actually beat this guy unless if I get Elixir. Solo Baby Dragon, come on. Don't want to have to wait for all this, so let's send that in. Okay, tower's locked on to other things. I'm going to send my balloon in. I'm going to rage all of that. There you go, guys. And we just got the win right there with the raging balloon. Give a thumbs up to whatever whatever happened there to him. But overall, that was pretty good. I got to say, we're on our fourth win right here. My record in an actual classic challenge is five. We had Dark Lightning again, which I won with the first time, and I, I actually like this deck, the Dark Lightning. Let's see what we can do. He's got a Musketeer. What deck? I think this is actually the Golem deck. Gonna drop our Goblin Hut there in the front. If he drops something with that. Okay, so because of the poison, I have to use actually the Dark Prince to counter that. Oh, oh good, it changed targets. Ooh, I'm actually going to do that. Drop something. Yes! And I that did a lot of damage to the Elixir Collector, which I'm actually very happy about. Because now I don't have to worry about the Elixir Collector. And there goes our Goblin Hut doing some work on that tower, which is awesome. There's the Golem, as I expected. Okay. Archers are my slowest units right now, so I'm actually going to drop them. Because I want to be able to meet that golem at the bridge. And I need to wait to drop the lumberjack until his rage is going to be in range of my tower. We're going to drop the skeleton army here so that way that doesn't target that. We are going to drop this. He's got the log. Oh boy, this does not look good. Um, must Dark Prince, please do something oh no we lost right there nothing I can do about that push at all out of elixir nothing I can do this guy must use a golem regularly because my good there's literally nothing I can do about this right now I'm letting that musketeer go okay so we need to get some dark lightning luck here go and there's literally nothing that I could do about that push Oh yeah, he just played all that 8 elixir. Let's go. What's he going to have? With the lumberjack, that's actually going to be huge. No, he logged it all. That you have to be 
kidding me about? Because that is literally like, I was hoping the lumberjack would die and it would get like the rage effect, you know? Okay, we're going to go Dark Prince here. Spear God. Why do I have nothing for the Minion Horde this time? I literally have like nothing for the Minion Horde except to drop that. That's the issue. I have no Minion Horde counter. Look, I have literally nothing to counter the Min... I, I can't do any... I'm just going to let him win. The issue is that there's literally nothing that I can do about the Minion Horde. Was that deck of Dark Lightning different than the previous one I got? Because I had nothing for the... I don't think I had anything that could actually shoot air. Other than the Archers and the Spear Goblins, no, what's the one that, what happened last time I had Dark Lightning? I had the Mega Minion. Okay, that explains it. Because literally, there is nothing in that deck to counter the Minion Horde. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, Mirror Minor Muskies. Oh my goodness. So the, the Three Musketeers and the Minor, which I've actually never used before. I'm tempted to go Mirror Pumps here if I get enough Elixir. Because this actually could be pretty good. Let's see what he drops. Because I need to see that first before I drop this. Okay, he's actually going to drop a Minor, which I'm actually perfectly fine with. We're going to mirror that pump. And we're going to go here. Oh my goodness, he has the same deck. Oh my goodness, not good. Not good, not good. Absolutely nothing I can do. Literally nothing. Except put those down. Nothing I can do. Wow. That worked out extremely poorly. And there goes my second pump. Literally, he just had the better starting hand. Wow. We're going to go with another Elixir Collector there. Wait for that dragon to log on. There go our Musketeers. Okay, perfect. They split. Which means I'm actually going to go Miner over there. don't know if that's the right way to do it. There you go. Miner's on that tower. And then we're going to keep tanking for those Musketeers and go Mirror Miner. So that one Musketeer is going to keep going and down goes his tower. Oh, wow. So we just even this guy up. Oh, my goodness. He's not using his pumps, though, which could cost him. And we've already got some damage over there. So all of a sudden, we're in the lead after this looked lost. This is why I love the Miner and why I need him. I want the Miner in real life. <laughs> oh, three muskies just like that. We're going to counter of our three muskies. And look at that. They literally will like cancel each other out. However, we've got our Miner. We're going to go there. Not worried about the freezing there. Oh, however, that is what got us. Oh, boy. He is a mirror dragon. We're going to drop the knight here to see what he can do to the miner. And then behind all that, there goes the three muskies. And we're going to go miner. We are using the three musketeers like rock stars right now. Oh, boy. He sent them solo on my king tower, and that did not work out in his favor Keep going, everyone. Just keep pushing. That push is too huge for him to defend. Zap it all. Come on. Just give me a three. Yes. And after that looked dead in the beginning, guys, we're back there with a win, matching my record in a classic challenge in the King's Cup. Boy, I should have been invited to the actual King's Cup, you know? I'm already getting a rare. Let's go. Honestly, we all, we can only lose one more. We got Dark Lightning again. I liked the deck the first time. Didn't really like it the second time because of the matchup that I got against that Golem deck. But let's see what we can do. Okay, we're going to drop... Oh, boy. Expo, Expo, Expo. Yes, it targeted the Skeleton Army. Perfect. That is literally perfect. That's exactly what I wanted right there. We took out the Expo without an issue. I'm happy. Okay, I'm going to wait for that Princess, and I think, oh. You know, I'm actually going to do that, because that's going to be pretty hard to defend. Going to go here with the Minions to take out that Bowler. And we're actually going to get ready for our Dark Lightning here with the Dark Prince 
and the lumber. Wow, that's the Dark Prince and the Lightning, but I like the Lumberjack. You know, I think he's, I think he's involved. Should be the Dark Ray, the, the, the Dark Lumber. There you go, Dark, Dark Lumber. Dark Lumba, that's what this deck should be called. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna go archers back here. I have not used archers since I was literally in Arena 1. I think I took them out of my deck as soon as I could. Kind of crazy, right? They're actually not that bad of cards. Wait for the bowler. I wanted to drop the bowler. Let's actually go lumberjack here. I think that's safest play. You know what I want to do? I want to go Dark Prince. To be a tank. Oh, yeah. He's going to charge that Princess Rage. Oh, no. He's going to zap it. Not going to help him. Take out the Princess. Yes. That's all I wanted was for him to take We're going to go four Spear Goblin push here, and this could actually do some work. Come on, Spear Goblins. And we got another Spear Goblin coming in at the tank. We're actually going to Lightning the Bowler and the Tower because I don't really want to have to deal with the Bowler. And look at our Spear Goblins. Going to go Dark Prince there while the Bowler's locked to take it out. There goes that. Going to go Lumberjack as well here with the Spear Goblins. This is big. As soon as, yes, take out the Lumberjack. Please do so. Now everything becomes Rage. However, the Bowler is perfect right there. We're going to Lightning the Bowler away. And it is, have you ever seen a Bowler more dead than that one? Oh no, Expo, and I am not ready for it at all. Go, go Lumberjack, please. Yes, the Lumberjack is saving the day right now. Oh no, Skeleton Army just in time. Oh my goodness. However, we still have not actually won. Oh my goodness. How much does my Lightning do at tournament level? Um, three. Oh my goodness, I accidentally dropped the Lightning. However, that wasn't actually too bad because I actually took out the Bowler. I'm okay with that. Come on, Spear Goblins. I need you to do war. Oh no. Fire Spirits, I need you to drop that. Oh no, take it out. Yes. Ho, oh, archers. Good, they took out the princess. I just literally need to get like a little charge here of the Dark Prince. Dark Prince and Lightning here would do it for me. Yes, we're going to Lightning out the bowler. I'm at the magic number. I literally just need to cycle. And his mini P.E.K.K.A. I guess dropped in to the Lightning? Okay, I'll take it. I'm at the magic number now. I don't care about your expo. <laughs> We need to surround the bowler here at the skeleton army. Oh boy, literally, just cycle, cycle, gone. And that was a tough one, but we snuck it out. Good game right there to this guy. This guy played really well with that expo deck. Wow, so we are on our sixth win right now, guys. We're, I'm actually feeling really good about this. Let's keep going. Let's see if we can do this. Come on. Mirror Miner Muskies. Okay, we we used this before. We were matched up against it, and we managed to come back. Three Musketeer decks are very hard to use. Let's go ahead and drop our pump immediately now. Okay. So this guy has the Dark Lightning, which I'm not too worried about. We're actually going to take out the Lumberjack pretty easily. Sure, everything's going to become Rage, but the Mega Minion Rage... Oh, no, we're going to need to drop a Nice Spirit. Oh, no, took it out. Okay, that's fine, though. I distracted. Okay, we want to get... Our, um, oh boy. This guy's already going in. Oh dang it, the Dark Prince got a charge. However, there's really nothing that I could really realistically do right there. Just not enough elixir yet. This deck is about the late game. We just want to pump up and get ready for the late game. Don't worry too, too much about what he does to our tower. Okay, yes, worry about his tower. Oh, no, the Lumberjack targeted our tower. Are you kidding me? And he is going to take it out, basically. And that got a hit, too. Wow. They're, they, I'm out of cycle to counter this guy. That's the issue I'm having. Okay, let's go Knight here. I want to get ready for a Musketeer Minor push. He's got a Furnace. Okay. Let's drop the... Oh, my goodness. He lightninged one of them, though. Not all three, which is actually really darn good. 
Let's go Miner. I'm going to drop an Ice Spirit. Oh, zap those. Bye. And that should be it, basically, for that tower. Yes. Musketeers, target. Yes. Okay. We're all of a sudden tied now. With this deck, though, I really do need a three crown. I don't think there's any chance of me defending this guy. All right. What's he going to drop? Another furnace. Okay. We're actually going to drop our three muskies here to defend. Yes. Oh, yes. This is perfect. Oh, boy. Both fire spirits got there. Not a fan of that. Let's take out that furnace. It's very annoying. And you know what I think about that furnace as well? I think about that. Oh, no. Freeze. What? They took it out! No! You're kidding me on that one! You've got to be kidding me on that one! Let's go Knight in the front here! Oh my goodness, he's going to lightning them all but one! There goes that! Zap! No! And that should do it. everything! And there's just too much air in this deck this time to counter it! Luckily, our baby dragon there is going to work. Use your lightning up. Oh, my goodness, though. He's going to win right here because of that lightning. Let's go, guys. We need one more really strong push here if we want any chance whatsoever. Zap. Oh, my goodness. They actually survived. The musketeer survived. Go. Go. No, the ice spirit jumped into them and not the tower, and that's it. We need to go three muskies in the middle. No, he actually took it out. And that is the end of our challenge. I'm pretty upset about that one because I couldn't get any, like, I couldn't counter his lumberjack. But that's that. Let's see what we get in our chest here. Wiz oh, we got a balloon. Okay. Five to enter. And I actually, could that be more worth, it's the same rewards, right? Yeah. Could that be more worth entering than a classic challenge for, for and while it lasts, possibly? Participate in one unique special event challenge. Participate in three. You know what? Ten gems for that? I may actually spend that and get in there. Okay, you know what? We have some time. Why don't we do another one? I think we should do another one, guys. Let's do it. I'm just going to be right back in one second. And we'll do another. I will do as many events as we need as long as it is profitable, gem-wise. As long as it's profitable, I'm okay. Because, I mean, look at the achievements. Like, create and finish 10 tournaments. No, completely not worth it at all. This, though, is very much worth it. By I'll get the experience, and I'll still get my gems back. And I already made some from the other one. And the next one could be better. So you know what? Let's jump in here. Yes, let's join the special event challenge. And let's go in there again now with some random decks. I actually really do like this challenge a lot. Here we go. Go Log Go. This is that Golem deck. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it has a lot of good counters. So let's see what we can do here. Um, this is level 9, so I'm actually going to use Fire Spirit for chip damage. He's going right off the bat with a Golem. We're going to go there. He's, I know this deck is a poison, though. Oh my goodness, he's actually going to fireball. Okay. Going to let our archers go to work. I'm waiting for the golemites to spawn. And we're going to log them both away. And there you go. Okay, so not too bad there. I wasn't expecting the golem right off the bat. So I actually think I did okay for that. I wish they wouldn't match you up with people with the same deck, though. It kind of does get annoying a bit. I don't want his golem to do that well, so I'm actually going to poison it all. If 
Fire spirits are going to take that out. That's fine. I'm going to pump up now. Which means he should be... Yep, that's exactly what I expected. Now, sir, I want you to use your fireball. Perfect. You, you play the musketeer. We're going to take out the musketeer. That's fine. We took out his archer. Some of our minions are going to come back. They're split now. So it doesn't make sense for him to use value on that. Oh my goodness, my fire spirits did not actually spawn once the goal might spawn. That's what I was hoping for. Let's go of a musketeer here. He's actually going to fireball, which I don't really know why. He's got a minion tanking. I'm still going to do damage. That was really a not worth fireball right there. We're actually going to go in with our golem now, starting in the back, though. So we're going to have a much better push than him. We just got some elixir back from our pump. Let's go. Oh, yeah, he just used that. He's not going to have too, too much to do here. Whatever he plays is getting poisoned right there. He's going to log it. Oh, yeah, go. Go right there. Go, log, go. Even though it's our golem this time, I'm telling you guys, this is actually working out pretty well for us. He's going to fireball that all, but he pushed the other tower, which doesn't help him because now he just used his fireball. He's going to have to defend this golem right here with two musketeers in the back. Poison all of that. He's not going to be able to do anything. He used all of his things to take out that tower. There you go. Good game, guys. And we just won that. Wow. The golem's actually a really darn good card. I'm thinking golem graveyard. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, let's jump right back in there. We got the first win. What's next? Legendary arena here, guys. The raging balloon again. Which we actually just got a three crown last time because the person left out of rage. But we face the expo deck. What can we do this time now? Probably won't be fake. We're facing the Expo deck. We just got to do exactly what we did last time. I'm going to play the Baby Dragon in the back here. I'm actually going to use the Witch to distract the Bowler. Skeletons are going to do work there. Let's just zap all that. Make it easy. Come on, Baby Dragon. I want you to take out the Princess for me. Good boy. Do I go in if the no? I want. I need him to use his expo. There it is. So we're actually gonna make this easy on us. We're gonna actually go balloon here to take out the expo. Although the expo did work. However, we can rage up our balloon and maybe do that same amount of work back. Balloon got a shot. Okay, just a shot. That's fine though. We're ahead on damage now. Get on those archers. Perfect. We're going to take you out. Um, this is not good, however. It take it out, please. Yes. Okay. So we're pushing opposite lanes here. I'm not the biggest fan of opposite lane pushing. Especially being that I pretty much need all my cards to counter his expo. Just like that expo right there. Oh, no, those fire spirits suicided. Oh, he's actually going to do that, which means I need to put my witch here immediately. He used his zap, though, which I actually... Uh... Let's go in. Balloon. Rage. All of it. They're not going to be able to do anything about that. He's going to fireball out of desperation, but it does not work. The balloon gets a shot on the crown tower. Okay, we're going to do this. Where's the expo? Where is your expo? There it is. Balloon right in the middle right there. Whatever we have there, rage. Ugh, barely pulled that golem. Go. Baby dragon, come on. I've got my balloon cycled now. 
There you go, Balloon, Rage, and the Raging Balloon, guys, which is said to be the worst deck here, is 2-0 for us. Wow. <laughs> Another win for us. Wow. I'm feeling pretty good now. Let's do this. Come on. Double thumbs up again. We have the Frozen Hog now, which is I'm not the biggest fan of. We have a cannon this time instead of a tombstone, which is I'm also not the biggest fan of. I don't really like the cannon too, too much. Okay. Let's go Ice Wizard in the back. He's got a Witch in the back, so he is a deck that we just had, the Raging Balloon. Which means I need to save my air counters for the Balloon. As I do need to save that as well, but I couldn't there because I had to cycle to something and take all that out. Actually, this is sounding really good right now because he just played a lot. He's bound to have nothing. Freeze! Stay oh, and the witch too! Oh! And then talk about value. Oh boy, though, that is not very good. That That is not good. Okay, that's fine. We're, we're safe. So this guy has the Raging Balloon. You lock onto that Ice Wizard. Spear Goblin, shoot right from there. Perfect. Oh, wow, he zapped it. Okay. Let's go Hog. You know, that actually may not be worth it, that hog freeze, I just realized. We've got these minions coming now. Where's the... There's your witch. We're actually going to poison all that. There's the balloon. Cannon, lure it towards the center there. We're just going to drop spear goblins. I need to be able to take it out since it's raged. Oh, boy. Take it out. Take it out. No, it got a shot. Ugh. He's going to zap away my Spear Goblins. He used the zap. Let's go, Hog. There we go. We took it out. That's perfect. Poison. How did that freeze not get off in time? And even against us, the Raging Balloon is doing work right now. We're going to go Bowler. Ice Wizard. Poison. Guys, I'm telling even if that balloon gets a shot, though... Look at the push we have going right now. We got two bowlers and a hog. Oh my goodness, the air stuff though. However, I'm gonna freeze it all. What? How did how did the minions not freeze? However, he did use the rage, so we actually should be able to take out the balloon here if I had an issue. Perfect. Okay, because it's not regular overtime and we have extended time, I'm going to actually start building up the bowler. Go, everything that's there, get poisoned. Oh, he played that right into a poison spell. And our Spear Goblins are there. And our Ice Wizard is there. And our Spear Goblins are again are in the middle. It all got taken out. He uses his Ice Spirit again here. Oh my goodness, he's actually raging it. I need to go here. 
Oh my goodness, the balloon. Only possible thing I can do there is actually freeze the balloon. We should be one poison away there. That should be game. I hope. We have a minute left here to, to get the win. We need just a little bit more damage. Go Spear Goblins. And poison to automatically win it right there. And that, wow, that was actually really darn close. Whew, very well played. Wow, okay, let's get right back in here now. Three wins, no losses, pretty good. We have the Minor Musky deck again. Gonna drop our pump. We have mirror pumps available. Maybe get to use them? I don't know. Gonna start with archers. Okay, I wanna see what else he drops before I use this pump, and I need to have max elixir. Alright, Mega Minions. I'm actually okay. He's got the Dark Prince. And the Lumberjack. He's going in of all of that? What? Well, that tower is gone. Literally gone. And down goes that elixir pump that I just mirrored. So this deck I found out does not work with mirror pumps because I lost the tower both times opening the game. We're going to drop the pump again because we do need a pump. Oh my goodness, a spear goblin hut. He's going to lightning all of it. So this deck is not... No, so I already lost. I'm just accepting the fact that I already lost. Because there's literally nothing... There's nothing I can do. Because he's always going to take on my pumps. I'm never going to have enough elixir. So, we have literally one hope here. Because he uses lightning, that I can play my three muskies right there. Get enough for the miner. And he's going to drop the Dark Prince, so now I lost again, because I have nothing to do for that tower. So, pretty much, I'm just playing recklessly here, because there's not this deck is the perfect counter to this deck. Literally. <laughs> not saying that figuratively, just literally, this is the perfect counter. My pumps have no use, because he's just going to lightning them. And I can't do anything with my three muskies, because they cost too much. We're going to zap all of that. Maybe. Can we double elixir? Good choice. He missed. Oh my goodness. This is actually going to work. Five musketeers all down at once. Oh my goodness. Is this going to be the com- Is this going to be a com- Five musketeers? What? Oh my goodness, four of them are still alive. Oh my goodness, four musketeers are going in right now. What? Keep going, more musketeers. We have five down right now. Oh my goodness. Wow. What? What happened? Wow, what the heck it was that? What 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 happened? Oh my goodness, I am in shock from that battle. Wow. We've got go log go again here. I've used this deck before and I've won with it. Come on. He's got the witch. So he's got the raging balloon. I have this though, which is perfect. Yep, I'm actually going to poison all of that. Go, Minion Horde. Oh! Oh, my goodness. However, we got wrecked, though, because I wasn't able to do anything in time for the balloon. I shouldn't have poisoned. That was a mistake.
Let's go Musketeer in the back. Do I pump here? I actually think I'm going to pump. A giant? Since when did this deck have a giant in it? Not looking good for us here. Uh, since when did the Raging Balloon have a giant? I used it. <laughs> okay, well, that's done. That's done. I'm going to let him take it. That tower is done. We're going to go Golem here. In hope that this somewhat surprises them. Because Golem pushes, guys, can be so hard to defend sometimes. We're going to drop a Musketeer in the back here. We're actually going to log all of that away. While it's targeting the Golem, we're actually going to use our Minion Horde right there. Oh my goodness, this Fire Spirits did like nothing to us. The Musketeer is going to go in and do some work. However, it's not going to really help that much. We're going to pump... The goal here is literally just to overwhelm him with golems. Oh my god. Soak that up, golem. Golem. Mini. Oh my goodness. He played the witch. Are you kidding me? Literally, that's the only thing that I actually did not want him to play because we would have had a shot. Oh my goodness, he's just going to zap to the victory. Log. While it's on that, Minion Horde. Yes, the min they went to the Golem. The Fire Spirits went to the Golem. Our Minion Horde is still going. Go. No. Wow. Okay, I'm giving him angry face for that. If you win at the zap like that, oh my goodness. Come on. Come on, we were making the best comeback ever against that guy, and now we gotta play with the hog deck. Which is like, why? <laughs> Let's go Spear Goblins. He's all of a sudden gonna push for the other lane. Terrible, because now I just did damage over there, and I can't do it because we need to push the same lane. Oh! Goodbye to your elixir pump. Let's actually go Valkyrie here, because if I want to go with my hog push, I want to have the Valkyrie out, not the knight. Oh, he's got three muskies. Oh my goodness, I played the hog not knowing that he had three muskies. Literally a perfect freeze right there. However, now we're not in good shape because of this. And that other side. So. Overall, we just lost this tower. Yep, down you go. Oh, we may have lost the game because it's two musketeers. We actually didn't lose the game, which kind of surprised me. We have a poison, though, so there's no point. We have we have a poison. Does he not understand that I can literally just take that tower of a poison? How much damage does this do? 22, 200. Okay, so I need to actually poison now. Oh, my goodness. He played his three muskies in the center. What? Who actually does that at this point in the game? I mean, it was perfect because I wasn't ready for it, but who actually does that at this point in the game? So I lost. Okay, good loss. We just lost two straight here after starting 4-0. Not feeling too good about that. Not liking it. Wow, literally, just guys, like, the worst moves. What did you think I was doing? 
Oh, dang it. So two losses, and we may be out here. Raging Balloon, the deck that's been 3-0 for us. Oh, my goodness. We're 3-0 and with the Raging Balloon. Who would have thought? Let's go Valkyrie in the back. Oh, boy. That's not very good. Lock on, please. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, my goodness. He's literally pushing for the other lane. Let's go. Go, witch. Go, witch. Let's rage you. Look at how fast she's shooting now. Look at how fast she's shooting. Look at the skeletons go. Okay, so we did actually a fine amount of damage there. I hate pushing for opposite lanes. We're actually going to go Valkyrie. Oh, yeah, he just uses poison. Okay, Valkyrie Balloon. Let's go. The tower is locked on my Valkyrie. Oh my goodness, he had a Tesla. What? However, we actually are going to be able to do some damage to that tower. Oh, he should have gotten one more shot. Okay, where's his freeze? Perfect. All right, I'm going to let that sit for now. We're coming back into this one, guys. Go, Archer, get some shots, all right? Okay, he just poisoned, meaning that I actually want to do this. I want to go Witch, Balloon, and Rage. What? How did he defend that? Okay, he's got to have nothing after that last push. Another Tesla? How does this guy have so many Teslas? Are we literally not going to be able to come back against this guy? We're literally not going to be able to come back against this guy. Another Tesla! How does he have so many Teslas? Well, that's it, I guess. We won four and then lost three in a row. Wow. So that guy either had a very cheap version of the hog deck. Wow, that was literally terrible. Obviously, we got nothing there. I didn't even battle. So are we literally like one more away? Mm, participate in three. Oh, unique. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Well, we just did another one for absolutely no reason, but hey, we got some gold. I am going to be playing a lot more classic challenges now, guys. I am going to be doing that. I am announcing it. I'm going to be doing a lot more classic challenges. <laughs> That's for sure. And honestly, I'm going to be playing the King's Cup until it goes down because five, five gems is not that bad. And I really want this to go away because I'm actually very close on my cycle to getting a legendary chest. So really, I want you to go away. I really want you to go away badly, King's Cup. You're ruining my life right now. <laughs> so that's that, I guess. Um, we should probably do... I haven't actually attacked... Let's do a regular battle. I haven't attacked in so long. We should be okay. Because I have not used my regular deck in a while. Let's go. Okay. Got to get back in the groove for this one. Okay, I like for people to make the first move. Okay. He's got a golem. So the furnace right there is perfect. He may have the goal in three musketeers, though. I'm going to hope not. If he does, then you know what I'm playing. Ding, dee, dee, ding, dee, dee, dee. A wizard. I'm actually going to fireball that all because I don't want to deal with it. We're going to play the barbs near the wizard to take it out. And there come the barbs. Oh, he, he logged them towards the goal mites. Oh. Okay, come on, graveyard. This is perfect. 
perfect graveyard right there. He used the zap. Literally, with the Ice Wizard coming in. Oh my goodness, it's literally perfect. Oh, the guards. The guards are literally like a perfect counter to the graveyard. Oh my goodness, why is he coming in with the golem right from the bridge? I mean, it was smart because I had no elixir at that moment, but like, why would you, who actually does that? In their real, who in their realistic mind actually does that? I had to zap. Go Mega Minion. Out of Elixir now. I need to hope that he is out as well. I'm actually winning right now. Come on, Mega Minion. Oh my goodness, a Musketeer. Fireball it. Okay, however, I have no Elixir. So if he comes in with something like that. Oh my goodness, how does he have so much Elixir? Don't understand how that works. How did he have enough Elixir for that? And I have like none. Okay, his golem is going to get absolutely insane here. I need to use my graveyard there. I'm actually am going to fireball that because that is value. And we're going to zap it. Here goes a furnace. However, this is not helping. Oh! We took that out. Okay. Come on, hog. Oh, yeah. This should be good. That was a godly fireball right there. There's, I'm actually going to just zap to get rid of the musketeer. I really don't want to deal with it. Level 11 barbarians of mine are going in. I've become so used to playing with level 9 barbarians that like I haven't been using them as aggressively as I used to. Okay. Come on now. Yes, he used that. Goodbye. And that should be game. That's game right there, guys. The graveyard coming in against the golem to give us our career high in trophies right here. 3,080 trophies and a silver chest for the first time in quite a few days. That's that's pretty darn awesome. So that's that's that was this was a perfect video guys i have to say that was absolutely awesome thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed <coughs> like comment subscribe do all that fun stuff and i'll continue to bring you more and more clash royale and do you want to see more longer episodes like this if so let me know because i had a great time up here playing this we got some great wins a good amount we got a fine amount of gold and we got our career high in trophies everything turns out to be great anyway guys take care